Alright, so let's get started here with section 3, working with 3.js. So in this section, we are going to have a total of 5 videos. So the first one is going to be discussing 3.js and setting up our project. So not a whole lot of coding in this first video. Uh, I'm just going to really go over what 3.js really is, and then we are going to do a basic setup for our project to get everybody started. Then we are going to do a lot more heavier coding, going with uh, creating a basic scene. And then after that, we are going to be exploring different geometry meshes with 3.js. Then after that, we will be creating some materials, and then we will be creating custom materials utilizing the shaders in 3.js. So first off, let's start with video one, discussing 3.js and setting up our project. So first off here, let's go over what 3.js really is, what we will be doing with it, and why it is important to know how to use this library. So firstly, 3.js is a 3D graphics library, which is completely open source and is, is of course written in JavaScript. So the creator of 3.js is someone by the name of Ricardo Cabillo, also known as Mr. Dube, which is his profile name. He created 3.js and added a WebGL renderer to it. So it is because of 3.js having this WebGL, which is a 3D rendering tool added to it, that allows for 3.js to make WebGL a lot more accessible to developers. So basically, what we will be seeing happen with 3.js is pretty much what happens on the back end of a lot of these APIs that we have been using, such as AR.js in our previous section. So let's go over actually, and if you can see on my desktop, I actually made a web AR applications to store the different applications that we're going to be making. So if we go into our old A-frame application and go into the AR.js master, you can actually spot the 3.js folder right over here. So this is basically what is AR.js pretty much communicating with. So these web APIs basically use the code that you are going to be writing in, like their own custom code, to basically talk with 3.js to tell it to create certain things such as 3D objects, as well as different materials and other designs as well. So since we will be using aw.js in the next section, which we will actually be coding in JavaScript as well, it is pretty important for us to have a firm understanding of how 3.js works right now. So let's take a look at the 3.js website and look at some examples. Okay, so right here on the web page, as I just got up, we could take a look at numerous different VR, web VR experiences and also some 3D applications that were made with 3.js. So let's find one that's actually working pretty well. Uh, there's some videos right here. This is A-Frame actually. Let's see how this one here works. So yeah, actually some people even make games with 3.js, which is also pretty neat. Some of these are fully interactive experiences. But let's actually try to find a design here. Maybe this car. I'll close it a couple of these here. Okay, so you can see uh, how interactive this really is. You can do a full 360 degree rotation, look at the car through all different angles here, and this was all made with 3.js. So actually what's really cool about this is that a lot of the code here is actually open source. So you could even fork this here at GitHub, pull it down, take a look at how these people made these experiences, and really that's a really great way how to learn 3.js is by looking at other people's code and then evaluating what they did to create it. So let's get started with setting up our project right now. So first off, let's go over to Mr. Dube's GitHub page. And when you get GitHub repo, you can clone the zip file right here. I actually have it already downloaded. So let's unzip it when you are ready. And let's add it to our project folder. So I already have the project folder made, and I also have our 3.js.html file already. So right now, as I said before, this section isn't going to have a whole lot of coding in it right now. However, I just want to show you how to get the project set up. So let's just autofill our HTML, and let's add a title to this, so we'll call it just 3.js. So let's go into the body here, and first we are going to Canvas. You definitely will need a Canvas for this. And we will pass this here an ID of just Canvas. So now we have our Canvas all set up. Let's just create one last thing here. And this will be another script tag. And we are going to require the source, which is going to be 3.js 
slash dev, which is the file name, build, and then we are going to go into 3.js. So if you take another quick look right here, this is the build path one more time. So this is the build, and then the, you want this file right over here, which is 3.js. So this should complete it for right now.